Hi guys, Biracial Tiffany here. It's been a while. I don't even think I know how to do this anymore. Um, and it's my first outside vlog, I think. I mean, except for the car. I, guess. I have been going through all the pages of the Mulatto Diaries, trying to figure out what I've learned and how that's going to affect my documentary and now I need to rewrite my proposal. I went to Kinko's and I... My intention was to print out all the pages of comments. I have to tell you I have a stack of papers like... No exaggeration. I'm thinking that's a pretty good assessment of the situation and I like didn't do about 15 videos. It's really kind of fascinating to go back through all that stuff and I also went through my inbox and realized there are so many messages, really good ones, whatever that means, that I haven't responded to and I am really apologize for that and I will do my best to get to Thank you everyone for, for all those contributions, all those comments. It's really been kind of overwhelming. Anyway, today I am going to uh, verbally respond to a comment that I got in, not a comment, excuse me, just a message. Um, just asking me about the origin of some words. The words being cracker, heckerwood, honky, and the term blue-eyed devil. And of course, I'm going to have to talk about the word mulatto too. Um, because it's time. I've realized that there have been plenty of comments about why I use that, or questions about why I use that word um, since I last addressed it. And I don't want to write it out. I'm just going to talk about it. So I'll start with honky, because this one was kind of the most interesting, and there are three different origins of the word, I guess. I mean, really, there's probably only one origin, but it, we don't know which one it is. Anyway, so, honky was A, uh, an American derogatory racial slur for white people, and it was a corruption of Hungi, H-U-N-G-Y, or Hunky, H-U-N-K-Y, that referred to uh, people of Hungarian descent. Um, and apparently this started in Chicago because black workers and Hungarian workers uh, made up the, the stockyards and the slaughterhouses, or the meat industry. So there was tension between the two groups, and the black people called the Hungarian people Hungies, perhaps in retaliation for being called racial slurs themselves. And we got the term honky shortly thereafter. Okay. It was adopted as a pejorative in 1967 by the black militants in the SNCC, seeking a rebuttal for the word Nigger. Mm, I'm going to be saying that word, I think. I feel very white when I say the N-word. I don't know if that's really true, but I feel like it's like I'm afraid to say the actual word. I just don't like the actual word and I find it disgusting. But it's much easier to talk about just using the word, so I guess I'll put a disclaimer over in the description section so people will know that I'm going to say that. Okay, so about uh, honky, the other thing was um, honky-tonk, like hockey, honky-tonk music, like a, a bar that would play that kind of music. You'd find it in the South and it would be uh, a white establishment. So that's honky. Oh wait, no! There's four because this other one. White men seeking African American prostitutes in the 1920s would drive through the appropriate neighborhoods and honk their horns um, either because they were were afraid to actually get out of their car in that neighborhood or because most black people didn't have cars so someone honking a horn would have a car and it would mean that they were a higher paying client. So that one got on UrbanDictionary.com and some of this was from Wikipedia if you want to know where that stuff came from. Okay, Peckerwood is uh, a rural white southerner, usually poor, undereducated, ignorant, and bigoted. And I did not know this, that Featherwood would be the female version of the term and Peckerwood is really for males. There isn't too much information about like where that actually came from. Uh, cracker was, there are two um, supposed origins of the word, either from like the crack of the overseer's whip, a cracker, or this, that was one that was new to me um, as of today looking 
this stuff up. But what I always thought it was, not always, because really I was like, how on earth is that like a pejorative term and people should be offended by it because frankly, I love to eat crackers. Like a saltine, a late July saltine, a Ritz, a cracker. Like I just love crackers and I was like, that's so not an insult compared to black insults. But it is one because it meant like poor people who were um, getting government assistance usually ate crackers or I think cracked corn was a staple of that diet. So it, just like Packer Wood, implied a poor, undereducated white person. Okay, blue-eyed devil. The only definition I could get online was a derogatory term for persons of European ancestry, but as it relates to the mulatto diaries, um, I think in the African American community when a monoracial or a biracial black person has blue eyes, it's like you're not to be trusted. The blue-eyed devil. I don't know. Actually, the Mixed Chicks Chat podcast, they have one It's kind of recent, um, and it's entitled The Bluest Eye, and both of those girls have light eyes. One, I think Heidi's eyes are blue and maybe Fanchon's eyes are green, but I don't really know. I've never met them. Um, and they talk, uh, Heidi talks about being called that, so you might want to go check that podcast out. And now the word mulatto. It's so derogatory. I get that. I often think if I was a monoracial black person and I would discuss race issues, would I call it the nigger diaries? Probably not, though I could see why someone might for the same reasons that I could say, well, mulatto diaries, it's catchy and it draws attention. Like if someone had the N-word diaries, probably would have to like check it out at least once. But this is the thing. When it was convenient for white people to use biracial people, that really there was no such thing, mulattoes, um, sort of to control, to help control or influence the slave population. It was like convenient that there be this sort of in-between category, maybe to keep the peace, uh, to, to create tensions, intra-racial tensions, since these people, mulattoes, clearly were still considered black. But when slavery ended, there was no need for that any longer. Um, mulatto was taken off of the census. I've read, and mostly I read that it's in 1920, but I know some people say it's 1930, so I'm not really sure how we're to know which is correct. But off of the cens census, and biracial people faded into blackness. And please, I hope that <laughs> it's clear to people who watch my videos that I'm not trying to shun my blackness or run away from it, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I really enjoy my blackness. But um, it's just not all of who I am. So to me, the way that it's not equated, I don't think it's the same as saying nigger. Because there are other words you can use. It's not like people stop calling black people anything except we just have this one word that's clear. Biracial, as I've said before, could mean anything. Asian and Mexican. So could mixed. Mulatto's that one thing that I think, especially in this country, when black and white are these two polar opposites, it's clear right off the bat what I mean. I don't want to take the word back, I don't want to use it, I never want to hear anyone call me that, but I just want to draw attention to the fact that there isn't another word. I just, I don't know what to say about it because I've said it before. I don't know, I mean, maybe to some people it's just so offensive that, that there is no excuse for my titling of my vlog, but I'm well aware that it's not a nice word. It points to the notion that black people are inferior and are animals and that for an animal and a human, being the white person, to procreate is going to create some kind of sterile animal. I don't know. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Thanks for all the new subscribers and everybody that's still commenting even though I've sort of been out of the loop. I'm always here. I just haven't been participating as much as I usually do, which is weird because it's my vlog.